Welcome back. In your vote, Republican voters in one primary nominated a woman who died earlier this year. The late Jennifer Pace won the seventh congressional district primaries. News 8's government reporter Garrick Berkowitz now explains what happens next. Pace took home 31% of the vote in a four-way primary, but now it will be party precinct committee members who will choose the nominee, not the voters. Former Marion County Republican Party Chair Tom John says this is an unusual situation, but it does happen. It certainly doesn't happen often, but in fact it happens often enough that state statute actually makes an accommodation for it. Jennifer Pace was one of four Republicans hoping to challenge Democratic Congressman Andre Carson. This is for the 7th Congressional District, which covers the northern two-thirds of Marion County. Pace's name was still on the ballot despite her death in early March. By then, the deadlines to withdraw from a primary and for state election officials to remove someone from the ballot had already passed. Those were in February. The rules are pretty strict, and it has to be for purposes of all the county clerks and all the election officials that have to prepare ballots. You can't be changing ballots at the last minute. And that's why, essentially, once it's locked down, there's not much you can do, and you have to let the process play out. State law allows the political parties to choose a candidate by caucus if there's a ballot vacancy. There's no requirement to do so. In that case, precinct committee members choose who will go on to the general election in November. An Indiana Republican Party spokesperson tells me party officials haven't yet decided when or where they'll have it. John blames the whole situation on low voter information and low voter turnout. 13.5% in Marion County. If you don't get out, this is what happens, and if you don't get involved in the process, you know, these precinct committee men are now essentially going to make a decision for the tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of voters as to who one of the candidates in the fall is going to be because they stepped up and put their name on the ballot to be a precinct committee man. Whoever wins the caucus will face two opponents in November, Carson and Libertarian Rusty Johnson. I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV. WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for updates.